Strange Land Oddities. We are at Days of the Dead, Atlanta, 2018, February 2nd. I have my guest here, Mr. Malcolm McDowell. How are you doing today, sir? Very well, thank you. Very well. Is this your first Days of the Dead convention that you've done? Uh, I believe it is, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, well, how many have there been? Um, they've been around since 2011. Oh, well, um, this is probably the first one. Yeah. First one? Yeah. Excellent. Now, this is going back to Clockwork Orange. Now, when you first did that movie, did you ever think it would be such a cult classic as it is now? Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I thought this film is going to last for at least 50 years. And funnily enough, it's almost 50 years. No, of course, <laughs> when you do a movie like that, you... I mean, look, I was working with a great director, and it was a great book, and, and usually that's a recipe for a disaster. <laughs> Luckily, um, this time was... I think we made a, quite an extraordinary movie, and, and I don't think that book, if you've read it, is an easy book to make into a movie. So right. I think Kubrick, of course, is a genius in his own way, and an extraordinary director so yeah definitely yeah so how did it come about um as you getting to play dr loomis for rob zombies uh halloweens uh how did i come about yeah well he asked me to do it he just came just said hey i want you for dr loomis yeah he said i went okay he said i'd like to meet you um could we have lunch i went sure so I went into this restaurant and I looked around, I thought, Rob Zombie, who would it be? <laughs> and I saw this guy at a table that looked like Charles Manson. <laughs> and I went, ah, it must be Rob. <laughs> and he was, but you know, Rob is a very charming, very sweet man. Yeah. He's, Completely he's the antithesis of what he looks like. Yes, I, I've dealt with him on the musical level and, yeah. and on, on the film level. Oh, his stage show is brilliant. Yes, I, he, I, I did the Rob Zombie Great American Nightmare, which was uh, oh. Halloween uh, a couple of years back in California, okay. where he did three haunted houses and had all different genres of bands oh, playing. Wow. Really? It was yeah. amazing. Yeah. Um, do you have any plans to be in any other Rob Zombie movies? Um, no, I don't really, but... Um Somebody told me, I think it was Rob, maybe they were going to do a, some kind of a, a sequel to 31. I doubt that. Uh, nice. um, my character has unfinished business, I guess. <laughs> but, you know, I don't know. I mean, look, I made three terrific movies with him. And they were terrific experiences. That, that's what I call a terrific movie. Right. If I've had a good time, then it's a terrific movie. I mean, the movie could suck, you know. <laughs> uh, because I ne very rarely see the movies when they're done. Because I made them, so there's no point in me looking at them, you know. Yeah, it's like all the work you put into yeah. it. It's like after, you're like, uh, do I want to watch it yet? <laughs> Uh, no, you know, I, all the work happens, you know, on the set, and um, so I remember that, you know, the shooting of it, the creating of it, and all that. And I don't really want to see it because then it's another experience, and I don't usually watch them. But I did with, I think, the first two of Rob's uh, Halloween. I, ne I never saw 31. So is it a different like type of feeling when you're actually filming it compared yeah. to watching it? Totally. Totally different? I guess, it, I guess it's like a band after done recording listening to their own music. Over. Probably, yeah, maybe. But, yeah, um, yeah. You know, be. besides from doing the Rob Zombie movies and besides from Clockwork Orange, you've done numerous films. Um, out of all the roles that you've played in, in your career, which one stands out the most? Well, I can't answer that question because they're all so different. I mean, if you're asking me which is the most popular, uh, I'll tell you it's Clockwork Orange. But right. 
it's not the one I enjoyed the most. Um, like in your in your heart, which which role that you played? Well, I always say, you know, the most the the best role that I will play will be the next one. <laughs> Because I'm really not the kind of person that looks back on the work. I only look forward to what's coming up. Because that keeps it uh, fresh for me, you know. I don't really want to be looking at old stuff. Right. Even if it's really good. Now, if there's a retrospective of my work, I'll probably see the odd movie, but I cannot sit through <laughs> Clockwork Orange one more time. <laughs> you know, I just cannot do it. <laughs> I'd rather slip my wrists. <laughs> but it's not because it's a bad movie, it's just that I don't want to see that again. You know, I mean, how many times can you see the damn thing? Yeah, it's kind of like asking Bruce Campbell how many times have you watched Evil Dead? You know? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's, it's the same concept. Is it? Of, yeah. Who is that? Bruce Campbell, um, he's uh, the actor for Evil Dead. He did oh, yeah. Army of Darkness, um, oh. Ash vs. Evil Dead. He was on Burn oh. Notice. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Campbell, aha, uh-huh. a Scott. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, so, as of right now, what do you have in the works that you can discuss with your fans? Okay, well, I'm doing, I think, five movies between now and the summer. Five, wow. Then I go straight into Mozart in the Jungle for the fifth season. Oh, wow. And then, as soon as I finish that, the plan is now to go straight to London and do a movie that I've been trying to make for years and years and years. But we'll see, I mean, uh, you know, we'll see. Any insights on what that type of movie is? It's a sort of... Um, well, it's based on a true story about a con man who, in his later years, late 50s or whatever, becomes a serial killer. It's actually based on a true character, but I'm not making a biopic. Right. Because I'm not interested in biopics, but um, it... It sort of uses part of the truth to, to make a, an, an interesting movie. And it's a sort of very, very dark comedy. Uh, I mean, most, most people would not, but it's really outrageously funny, a bit like Clockwork is. Okay, so it's got those twists and turns. And, yeah. And be like, all yeah. of a sudden you'd be like, what the, you know. Yeah. But it's a different kind of character and that this guy is, He's a, a, re, a con man, a really good one. And, um, you know, he just gets to a point where he commits a murder and he finds it very easy. And so he kills five people in as many months. Oh, wow. Yeah. But it's a very, very interesting script, I think. And that, I'm very that, looking forward to it. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds like a, like a definitely. I, yeah. I I can definitely see a mirror image of you playing that part in my head right now. Well, he's a butler. It's called the Monster Butler. The Monster Butler. And he is a. He's a lower class who really wanted to be a gentleman. And to have all the beautiful things that the rich. And, and, um, and the gentry have and he didn't have so he can't get it by birth or by his talent so he steals it that's one way of doing it yeah yeah <laughs> nice so when you're not doing film or TV or doing these conventions yeah what do you like to do on your spare time just as Malcolm itself. Oh, I don't know. Um, you know, I've got kids, grandkids, and. So it's all about the family? Uh, 
a lot of it's, it's always about family. Yes, of course. But, um, you know, I play a bit of golf. And, um, I kind of just take it easy. I'm getting up there in age. I don't want to be going too crazy at my age. Well, so, you, you still look good for your age. And, well, thank you. And you're still, you know, kicking ass and taking names and as far as your movies. Yeah. Well, luckily, I've been very lucky, you know, that um, I've been able to carry on and still be uh, asked to do things because when the phone stops ringing, that's when it's over. Right. So. And I don't see that in your near future anytime soon. Uh, who knows? One never knows. I mean, nothing ever lasts forever. No. But I don't see you going anywhere anytime soon. No, as long as I can remember the lines, you know, I'm okay. Right. All right. Yeah, well, thank you. Well, definitely. Um, again, people, this is Malcolm McDowell. Most of you guys have known him from the Rob Zombie films for, uh, as Dr. Loomis, Clockwork Orange. He's been in numerous, numerous more films, which you definitely need to check out. Uh, again, this is Days of the Dead, Atlanta, where strange land oddities. And I thank you very much, Malcolm. Okay. And oh yeah, fist bump because of uh, we don't want to get the flu. That's All right, everybody, thank you.